Hey guys, trying to keep up my weekly videos. Um, yeah, uh, just got my hair cut today. Started growing out, looking like Albert Einstein and stuff. Or is the joke I said, Albert Einstein in an anime. So, I had to get it trimmed down around the sides. So, but, uh, yeah. Um, just getting closer to Christmas. Um, there's tons of sales going on, a lot of places, and, um, there's one game I wanted to make a little better off, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's at, it's actually at GameStop, I think there's a sale at GameStop for like 20 bucks, but, um, if you go on the PlayStation Store, it's actually on sale on there for even less, ten dollars. I got it for ten bucks, and it's actually pretty decent. Um, it's, I mean, based on it, you know, I mean, the usual retail price of it is only forty bucks. I mean, <laughs> there's so many jokes I can make right now, but I'm just gonna show you it first. It's called Beast Quest. Let's see. Beast Quest. Yep. Uh, like I said, it's like, to me, this is just to me personally, it's one of those games It's like, so bad it's good. You know? I'm not going to knock it, the one, the people who developed it or anything. I mean, it's a great game. It's it's like a PS2 RPG game. If you're, if you want to take a step back in time, I mean, the, the, the whole joke I was laughing at is, it's 40 bucks regular retail, which is the price of PS2 games back in the day. <laughs> you know, even when PS3 was coming out, it went up to 50. That was that, That's the joke. So it's like pretty much you're paying for a PS2 game for like a PS2 game. But it's it's actually really, it's it's different. It's like a different outtake on it. And, you know, like, I, I, I'm definitely going to highly recommend it to the, to, you know, I'm a big RPG guy myself, so... I'm definitely going to recommend it to those out there who are into that. And uh, especially for the price of 10 bucks now. Especially on a flash sale. I think it's till like mid, to like the beginning or even mid-January. It's on sale too. So even if you don't have a payday coming up yet. But yeah, definitely pick it up for like 10 bucks. I mean, well, I, I've just played it for about a half hour. 45 minutes-ish. But yeah, it's... It's like, uh, it's like memory lane for me, you know, it's like nostalgia a little bit. Like, I mean, like, it's like the controls are a little clunky and stuff, so it's, so it's like, oh my god, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's not like a failure of a game. I don't, you know, it's not by that by any means. It's just one of those games where it's actually okay, you know. I mean, I picked up a ton of games on sale. Uh, I could recommend you a couple of them, actually. I think I'll do that now. If you have two seconds. Because I have them right here. The Valtherian Arc. Here, a school story. That was definitely worth it. I think it's on for like ten bucks. And, uh, well, I like, uh, the company Chemco. I'm a good, I'm a fan of the, their games. Because the very first one, I played the very first one, that, was, which was Revenant Saga. And that was really good. I, I really enjoyed that. That was a good, a great time. And, uh, yeah. Their, their game Revenant Dogma. I, I guess it's kind of a sequel or maybe a sub, sub side sub, whatever story to it. You know? I know it takes place in the same universe. So, but yeah, their, uh, Chemco's games are actually pretty good. You know, they're old they're old school 2D games with 3D fighting. Well, it's turn-based 3B 3D fighting. So it's pretty much like Final Fantasy VII-ish. I guess you want to really consider it. And I guess that's why I'm a big fan of them because it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, there's definitely one more game I have to recommend you. Dude, it's only three bucks. And if you guys are fans of. I'm going to take you to even further back in time to a better time. Mar Super Mario 64. Banjo-Kazooie. Or even Katooie. There's a game here called Poi. P 
P-O-I. Poi. Poi, poi, poi. There it is. <laughs> I've also been playing. I got Conan Exiles too, but I've been at that forever now, so. But yeah, definitely Poi. It's the platforming back in my day thing. It's, you know, the, the, these are all pretty really good games, and they're cheap. Great sales. Poi was only $3. Compared to the usual, like, I think it was like 20 30 if you bought it. And it's like, nah, that's too much for that. For three bucks? Pretty much, get, like, go back in time to Super Mario 64. Uh, nostalgia Overdrive tonight. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, Ark, Diablo 3. Yeah, that's really about it. I think the other big one I got was Sims 4, but, you know, it's Sims. You either like them or don't like them, so. Yeah, just been uh, trying to get into the Christmas spirit and all as well. Uh, as you can tell, got the tree up over here. Yeah. So we got that. We got the gifts over here in the corner. Didn't wrap them yet completely. I mean, we got them enough, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Whew, it's really close to Christmas. Like, ooh, like a week away, if not, you know. I don't even know what today is. That's the joke. I just know today was the day I had off, so. 17th, yeah. So, seven days away, because it's pretty much midnight. 11.48, so whatever. Um, oh, also, big thing also going down is, um, Killing Floor 2, there's a Christmas event going down. I'm, I've been trying to get on that too. I mean, I I enjoy Killing Floor too. It's been pretty good. The only one I don't really get is the Surgeons or Insurgents, whatever it's called, the VR one. I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me. Don't really get into the VR aspect, especially spending a couple hundred dollars for it. Not worth it. Sorry, Sony, PlayStation. But yeah, um. To pay for a headset that much? Yeah, no. I mean, I got the camera there. So, I already got part of it. So, yeah. Untibas. 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 Um. Yeah. Speaking of that, like I said I'm probably going to try and do a live stream at some point in the, in the future, in the near future. Before, at least. I'm going to attempt, attempt, for Christmas with the Killing Floor 2 Christmas event that's going on, well, the seasonal event. I'm getting that pretty much, trying to clean that out, you know? Because the, the seasonal thing, the only thing that's, that's going to be tricky is beating the things on, like, Nightmare and stuff like that. I can barely beat hard. I can't even really beat hard. <laughs> Normal is pretty good. I mean, I get, especially with some friends, I'm just going to play with my buddy uh, Isaac. So, he's been pretty cool. He's, uh, normally, I think he's demolitionist normally. I think. I'm normally sharpshooter. Or not sharpshooter, um, on it. Uh, I can't even think of the name of it. It's been one of those days, you know. I had the day off. To, had my brain take a vacation, especially since last night at my work. Ooh. Gave me like three pallets of stuff to do, so I was just like, holy crap, <laughs> you know. I gotta get this stuff out. <laughs> it's like, where'd this even come from? It's like, oh yeah, there was extra stuff we had. It's like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, pretty much all all day today, I just pretty much got up, you know, I, I slept in a little bit. You know, I played some, uh, well, First, I picked up my buddy and we played some, uh, W. I mean, unless you want to count, you know, before picking him up, I picked up where I got my hair cut and I, uh, got you an early Christmas gift. I'm going to give it to her when she gets home. It's, uh, well, she's going to see it anyway, so, uh, I got it right here. She wanted to play that. Just need Magical World. Couldn't find the second one, but 
I guess the first one would be better than none, you know? So, yeah, we were watching a game, or a game, uh, a video of, I guess you could technically say that game, a video of games similar to Animal Crossing, and she loves Animal Crossing, so I picked that up for her, so any other recommendations would be cool, too. Uh, yeah, other than that, we mostly, we play the WE together, play uh, Diablo together, Diablo 3, and, uh, I keep meaning to pick up, well, to play, like I said, I have it right here. Dragon Crown Pro. I mean, meaning to start playing that again, maybe with her or something. That was a good game, too. You know, she's, uh, uh, oh yeah, we also play Spyro together, but it's mostly me playing. She's just pretty much com commenting on my gameplay and stuff. You know, she's not the gamer girlfriend, but she's kind of in the middle there. Nice little safe middle ground. So yeah. Anyways, don't want to take up any more, too much of your time. Just wanted to get those games, get those recommendation of games out, and uh, you know, be like, come on, guys, flash sale, <laughs> you know. And like I said, try to attempt at starting up a live stream. Uh, do it tonight, but uh, she'll be home soon. And <clears throat> yeah, I don't like a peanut gallery, so to speak. Plus, it's late. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to play it for fun tonight, but, you know, there's a difference between actually playing a game and enjoying it and actually streaming it or recording it and all that. I mean, you know, it's got to be the proper mindset. So, uh, I don't know. Someday in the future, though, in the near future, like I said, I'm hoping before Christmas, hoping before, so... Anyways, uh, question of the day. Question of the day. Um, I guess I'll go with. Have you played Killing Floor 2? There you go. If no, why not? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. So for, yeah, have you played Killing Floor 2? If so, what do you like about it? Or And if not, if wh what drags you away from it? You know, because, I mean, it's, to me, it's kind of like, I mean, the best comparison I could think of is Call of Duty Zombies. You know? <laughs> That's like the most, you know, mainstream comparison I could think of. It's like Call of Duty Zombies without the Call of Duty part in it. <laughs> You know, and it's fun. <laughs> ooh, ooh, another one would be uh, Borderlands, maybe? I guess that's kind of relevant, because I know there's another one coming out of that, too. Another game I've been wanting to try. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale, is uh, Darksiders 3. So one was, one, one and two were good. Like I said, I'm, I'm waiting for... 76 to drop down, like I said, if it goes below 20, I'll definitely be thinking about it. Of course, a lot of people were saying, yeah, it's going to pretty much go to free-to-play soon enough. And yeah, I've got some sort of, well, I don't really have any sources, but I have some people who are, who know their stuff who can kind of say that. But yeah. Anyways, like I said, the question of the day is, uh, you know, Killing Floor 2, what do you like about it? Well, have you played it? If not, what's pulling you away from it? And if you have, what do you like about it? Alright. Anyways, guys. I'm going to get ready for the evening. And, uh, definitely be around.